process of delayed puberty okay guys so let's talk about this delayed puberty okay so in two that's some females and the males let's define what the delayed puberty is absence of secondary sexual characters like a development of the breast in the girls okay pubic hairs right spurred growth okay in the boys enlargement of the testes okay facial hairs pubic hairs okay so if there is a delay in the pubertal development by 14 years of age age is really very important in for this to diagnose delayed puberty or precocious puberty Remember the important point over here is a 14 years in females more than 14 years and more than 15 years in what you call boys, okay 14 and a 15 if you want to say precocious puberty in females it's gonna be less than 8 9 it's gonna be in a boys. How do you remember? Just remember 9 if you reverse it it will become B Okay, so you know very well The girls are far ahead than us. That's why they will have the Precocious puberty early or puberty early, okay, and delayed puberty early, okay, right. So let's talk about the causes in the female and the male. Important for MRCPCH and USMLE examinations. In a female, the most important and the common is the constitutional, constitutional, okay, and you need to look for bone age, bone age, chronological age, okay. Look for these things, okay, and look, ask the family history whether father and mother they have developed the delayed puberty more than 14 years. That could be the cause. That's why constitutional, okay. Primary ovarian failure, very important. Turner syndrome, look for short stature, web neck, okay, very important topic for uh, USMLE. Turner syndrome, then hypogonadotropic hypogonadism, okay, then Kalman syndrome. Kalman syndrome. Okay. Hypopituitarism. Hypopituitarism and Prader Willi. Prader Willi syndrome. What's a Kalman syndrome? The important thing you should remember anosmia. Very important. Cleft lip, cleft right. Or any midline defects with anosmia is a really very important point you should remember if you want to diagnose Kalman syndrome. So Kalman syndrome is one of the cause for delayed puberty in females. Okay, right. Even it's male also. Okay, so nothing to. So what's the most common over here? Again, the constitutional primary ovarian failure we have over there in the females. Here we have primary testicular failure. Klein filter very important. Klein filter. Klein filter syndrome, then H and H, that is a hypogonadotropic hypogonadism. Again, the Kalman syndrome, hypopituitarism, okay, and the Prader Willi. So remember, if you want to diagnose and they ask you that a 16 year old boy still doesn't have any secondary sexual characteristics, which are the following could be caused. If you want to find out what's the cause for his delayed puberty in him or her, try to look carefully, read the carefully case history, case scenario. You will find some points like anosmia, very important points, okay. The other things you should look and find out if there's any history of what you call in a father and a mother, they had delayed puberty, then that can be a constitution also. So you have to read the Clinical history very important. In examination, if they give, if they are asking a question on a delayed puberty, then you have to look for a clinical history very carefully. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.